Get down, inspire. Inspire wants to join us tonight. Everyone's in the house. How many people we got? We got 10, 11 people coming on tonight. Just to, um, put your hands up, guys. This is the training tonight. Training the information about the conference coach for the next program. Is everyone aware of this, guys? Everyone who's on tonight. This is not a part of like the love program. This is hands up, guys. Is everyone aware of this? Someone's having a disco in one of their rooms. Tanya Burke is like spinning her camera around, dancing. Cheryl's in the house. Anna's in the house. Cassie's in the house. How's it going, guys? You good? Someone's in the toilet. Who's in the toilet? Who's in the toilet? That won't be me. <laughs> Who's that? Who's that? <laughs> that would be me, Warren. <laughs> yeah, who's that? Tanya. Tanya is crazy. <laughs> you, when you got to go, you got to go. And I couldn't miss the call, so <laughs> you had to come with me, guys. <laughs> yeah, Raise the last 10 seconds, guys. <laughs> God have mercy. No, that's living. That's living in your truth. Yeah, I, 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 I <laughs> <laughs> We've got seventeen people on tonight. You guys, are, I love it. <laughs> so, just gonna wait for another two minutes, guys. Like, everybody else gets on. Um, if anyone, <laughs> anybody else feels free to go to the well. <laughs> <laughs> 17 people. Just gonna put a group. Um, just gonna message the other leaders in the WhatsApp group. See if they're all on. Guys, if ever, everyone could just mute their microphones, so then I'm gonna get the show on the on the road. How do you mute? It's at the bottom left of the screen, hun. Okay, oh. yeah, you've got to mute yours too. Oh. Why is it going off and on? No, I'll find you. I'll find you and I'll kill you. I'm joking. Why is it going off and on? Wait, who is, who's, who's that speaking? Yeah, so it's muted. Who's that speaking? Hello? Is anybody out there? I can't hear it now. Yeah, no, who's that speaking? Who's that? How? No, show me. Show me. Speaker on. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Cassandra, I've got you. Okay, done. Cassandra, I found you. Okay, so is everyone ready? Pen and paper? Pen and paper? Wicked Tyrone's in the house of a Tyrone, hand on chin, he's focused. He's ready to learn. Love it. Just came back from Bolton, guys, yesterday, and it was powerful. We had breakthroughs. Gemma, big shout out to Gemma Miller. I think she's on tonight as well. But she got up and literally owned the stage yesterday, which was incredible. Okay, so guys, on the 20th of October. Okay, who's just come in the house, Wendy? Wendy, what time did you call this, Wendy? Hi, 9.35. Yes, you're late, Wendy. How many in? What? How many people on board? We've got, we've got 18. Okay, everyone's muted. Okay, so we're going to start. They look like a mute, Claire, too. Perfect. So, guys, um, on the 20th of October, I'm be launching a four-week coaching course. And this four-week coaching course, guys, I'm going to teach you on the art of connection with coaching as well. So, for example, the leaders that did the um, last program, they did an amazing job. But literally, they did, they did the conference program, smash that, and massive transformations. And just them being there, like, with you guys, was going to help you guys a lot as well because 
when when you when you're given that role as a leader you then step up and this is what happened the leaders stepped up and then did an amazing job and now it's just about the tools and the strategies that come with coaching put your hands up guys does this make sense are you, am i with you guys sans in the house yeah michelle perfect so this the four week coaching program guys i'm going to take on around about 12, 12 to 15 trainers, right? So we can pair people up, put people in threes and twos. But this coaching process is all about teaching you how to coach effectively. And number, the, the number one thing, guys, about all of this is connection, love and connection. If you have connection, you're going to be a phenomenal coach, leader. And if you've got a belief that, oh, I need to get these qualifications first to become a coach, it's BS. There are people out there, there are therapists, psychiatrists that are great, like kind of like they've got all the qualifications, but they can't connect because maybe they haven't been through a certain situation. So I think life experience is more effective than the qualifications. Does that make sense, guys? Yeah. As an adult, it's not the qualifications that we have in the coaching field. It's if you can produce results. If your clients say, wow, yes, oh my God. You've got, all we're doing guys is getting people from A to B, A to B, A to B. And every single one of us can coach someone who's two, three, four, five steps behind us in our journeys. Hands up guys, does that make sense? Sans, wake up. Okay. <laughs> um, also as well guys, in this role, you guys are gonna expand like crazy. You wanna learn how to understand people how to build great rapport, how to not speak so much, but listen and, and you're fine. When you're coaching people, guys, they will, like if you ask them the right question, they will find the answer for themselves. Like a lamppost can make you an amazing coach. If you ever do this, guys, go and try and speak to a lamppost about your problems, right? I guarantee if you stay there long enough, you'll find the answer, guarantee you. So, all we do, guys, as coaches and as leaders, we create a space for people to search for the solutions to their problems. Does this make sense, guys? I want to make it really plain and simple. But what we need to do, guys, when we create this space, we need to have confidence in our ability, in ourselves, that, look, I can get these results in people's lives. And you do it by your walk and how you walk, how you show up and how you talk. It's a confidence in being comfortable in your own skin. If you've got, if you've got that confidence, all you're doing is creating a space. People are going to look at you and they're going to see you like, I know you like you and trust you. And then they're going to open up and they're going to listen to what you say. But if you don't come across with that authority, I call it like the policeman authority. Do you know when a policeman stops you for speeding? Does the policeman go up to your car and go, excuse me, miss, excuse me, sir. Um, you know, you were speeding and I don't know how to say this, but can you please get out of the car? You're going to be like, no, I'm not going to get out of the car because he doesn't have that authority. So police officers are trained in such a way to speak a certain way where they say, get out of the car and we get out of the car. And sometimes people will actually, that look like police officers actually say, I need to come in your house and check something. You're like, hey, come in. But just from like the way that they speak. So as a coach, and as a leader, this is what I want to train you guys on in the areas of working with your communication skills so that when you're sharing your strategies or you're sharing, um, just say if you're sharing a team training, you're coming across a way where it's not, um, um, yeah, I think we should, no, guys, this is what we're going to be doing, guys, okay? So we're going to have Greg, we're going to have Sans, we're going to have Rania, you guys are going to be in this group here, we're going to be doing this on a Monday, Tuesday, and a Wednesday. It's getting you guys, teaching you guys coaching you guys to have those communication skills. Would you guys like this, by the way? Where it's just like natural, it's like, wow, how, long, how many years have you been doing this? And this is it, it's in the end, we just work on it. So the four week coaching program, guys, at the end of the four week coaching program, you guys are gonna be trained up in such a way that when we open up the Unshakable Conference program, like it's no like, it's not, they're not like, oh, I'm signing up because of Warren, I'm da -da -da -da. like literally, you guys, we have an opening session, opening training session where you guys will obviously be speaking in your teams. So we've got Zoom calls 
going across with your teams and you're like, hey guys, my name is Tasha. I'm your team leader, guys, and we're going to get some amazing results on this program, but I can't do it for you guys. I need you guys to be 100% committed. Are you all in? Put your hands up. This is another thing, guys, I'm going to be teaching you as well about commands. Put your hands up, guys. If you're all in, they're going to put all their hands up. And then boom, 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 boom. And you're going to smash it. Like, I want you guys to be in a place where it's just like, how long have you guys been coaches or been leader? How long have you been doing this? The confidence is incredible. Like, you want your team to look at you and go, I want some of that. Whatever you've got, I want it. Do you guys think you can... Do you, do you guys want this, by the way? Cassie, I can see your face. Do you want this, Cassie? Yeah? Love it. Wicked. So... I want to give you guys like literally like 15 seconds, okay, guys? And I just want to hear why you want to be a coach, right? Why you want to get on board of this program. Like 15 seconds to just smash it. What I'm looking for here, guys, is just complete confidence, owning it, and just, yeah, and just sharing your why, why you want to do it. 15 seconds. If you go over, guys, I'm going to be um, doing barbecue or forfeits. No. But just, yeah, 15 seconds, guys, just so that, because we've got a lot of people. We've got 21 people on tonight. Crazy. Okay, so Tyrone, you're going to go first. Okay, 15 seconds, Tyrone. No pressure at all. Bam. All in. We're badasses now, guys. We've been through this program. We're badasses. Three, two, one. Let's go. I just want to help um, people um, find themselves um, be more confident. Yeah. Um, I've yet to share my story as such, um, but I'll, I'll definitely do that. Um, I have no idea who that was. Just trying to mess it up from time. Yeah, you want to help people? Obviously, help people um, to find themselves, um, be more confident about themselves, um, and just replicate what I'm doing, obviously. Um, Fantastic. And be inspiring to people as well. Yeah, and, and, and give, give me like five seconds of craziness. Show me your, show me your excited face, Tyrone. Show me your, ah, face. Ah, <laughs> I love yeah, it. a lot of people. <laughs> lots of that, like, guys, we do lots of that shit. Lots of that, ah, guys, are you ready? <laughs> no, I'm just um, playing with you. Um, I just want to take you guys out of your comfort zone as well, but love it. Love the energy, Tyrone. Love your reason why. Guys, the main thing that I'm looking for here, guys, is connection and loving. Sometimes people want to be a coach because they maybe haven't had that attention before. Because when you are, when you are helping people, you're going to get a lot of people saying, Warren, like, you saved my life, you've helped me. And then if you don't ground yourself, it, like, it can become a drug. And you're like, oh my God, I need people to say, I love, you're, you're amazing. And then you become competitive with other coaches because you want to be the Batman, right? No, I need to be Batman. Da -da 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 -da. Put your hands up, guys. Does, it, does this make sense, guys? When you want to be a coach, we're selfless and we love people. And if you help the person or if I help the person, it doesn't matter. It just matters if we, that person gets helped. That's all. That's, that's all this is about. So Tyrone, thank you so much for sharing. We're going to have Wendy next. Wendy, are you doing sit-ups, Wendy? What's going on? Thank you, Tyrone. Hi. Um, the reason I want... Pardon? 15 seconds. Let's go. Okay. The reason why I want to be a coach is I've just done the self-love program and I had phenomenal um, uh, breakthroughs within my team and the feeling of... Um, I felt so proud of all the ladies and the connection that, yeah, I want to go on to the next level. Okay. I love it. And what happens, okay, because this is going to happen a lot, guys. In the start of your journey, guys, when, we, when we're doing this, you're going to get a lot of unbalance, right? How would you deal with a situation if everyone's trying to get your attention? They're like, Wendy, help me, Wendy, help me, Wendy, help me. How would you deal with that situation, Wendy? Uh, well, I would probably... Um, I would talk to them personally. I mean, what, my what, what every single person? Yeah, definitely singly. Yeah. What? What? If you had a hundred people messaging you every single day, you just you just message all of them individually? Oh no, 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 no! I, I didn't realize it'd be that many. I'm thinking on small scale, like with okay. a self love program with twelve. But, 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 but what would you do in that situation if you had a hundred people trying to message you at once? How would you I'd do have it? to go. I'd have to go live, literally live. You go live. Yeah. So I, so I could actually uh, maybe um, put some, some of the uh, face paint on. Yeah, 
yeah so i just sort of uh you know one live goes out to everybody really so yeah or do a webinar a zoom so we can all sort of uh add value to it to it okay fantastic because obviously sometimes guys you're going to get bombarded especially if you're in this arena right if you're if you're that if you're helping people and people are suffering they're going to come at you for help and you're going to get a lot of people coming at you for help and we have to have be able to set boundaries because i didn't set boundaries when i first started out as a coach guys i was like literally up and down london north west east south to the back to front but you know what i mean helping people but what i did i was drained in the process because i had no time to breathe does that make sense guys everyone does yeah. that make sense yeah wicked perfect so thank you wendy next person we're going to have tanya burke okay tanya please remain away from the toilet <laughs> that is not my wife <laughs> the toilet is not my wife <laughs> no. But my why is, since doing this, mm -hmm. it's been so freeing and I want other people to experience that. But more importantly, um, there goes the um, we're not supposed to use um. But in this area, um, and this week, I want to find out about the young people that are working in like the probation service, that um, are in crime and gangs and things like that, and kids that are in care, and I pretty much, some, somehow, somewhere, I'm going to do it, put on an event, uh, probably summertime, because that's probably the best time of year to get young people out and about, um, that Warren is by Ryan's going to attend. <laughs> Aren't you, Warren? <laughs> <laughs> and basically use the skills that I've learned yeah. to try and help these kids go down a different path to see, using you as the example, that there is another way of changing your life. So that's me. Wicked. And just say, Tanya, right, one day, you know, maybe something's happened, boom. Mm. How, how do you deal now with the knockbacks? So if you're feeling down or whatever, how, how do you get yourself back up? Well, after your live and, and literally going on the block, hang on, my cat is eating away at my sofa. One second, sorry. Stop, stop, stop. Right. Um, <laughs> sorry, she was just kind of tearing up the sofa. Um, after doing the blog um, and, and finding that letting all of my story out, it became quite an emotional um, experience. Um, so for about two days, I wasn't really on top form. So it just made me work on my why and my gratitude and my affirmations literally i was just even just in the front room i was feeling really bad i just laid down gave myself time didn't feel guilty about it put on some meditation just listened to that was listening to ted talks and literally for those two days i just completely and utterly immersed myself in anything and everything positive okay, and, and then then it, it literally i started to feel the difference and then it just became like so freeing and such a release um, fantastic. Okay, Tanya, I love it. And obviously, your, your main purpose is to help other people. And that's why you want to become a coach. Fantastic. Yeah, them kids especially. <laughs> love it, love it. Okay, what about the adults? What about the adults? Because obviously, when we do the conference coaching program. Yeah, I mean, adults as well. Um, but just that, that was just like a personal thing, I suppose, my personal why. Yeah. But um, being 46, yeah. it's like, not that I'm now looking back as years of my life has wasted at all because not at all because okay, they've stay forward, can I, can I stay forward? Stay forward. but yeah but they have um they've, they've made me who i am now yeah. and I, I don't want people to think that you know oh but i'm like 46 or 56 or 66 mm -hmm. and that you can't change you can and like even science proves it with like plasticity like Everybody has the ability to change and to grow, and age is just a number. Yeah. Tanya, you're preaching to a choir. Like, I know, I know this. <laughs> Sorry, that, but that's why. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, that's it. Yeah, one hundred percent. So, and the reason why, when you immerse yourself into TED talks and self development, is because we're a product of our environment. So, when you feel down, what you've done is mm. you're taking yourself out out of the environment that you're in, changed your state, and boom, you're back up again. 
So thank yeah. you so much for sharing that. <laughs> Tanya. <laughs> We're crushing through it now. Okay, so, <laughs> Greg. I see, why do you make that smile on his face now? I'm like, where's that smile gone? 15 seconds, guys. 15, nice and short and sharp. Okay, so I want to help people that have been through the same type of thing as myself. Um, abuse, domestic violence, alcoholism, drug addiction. They're, they're my big things. And I know if I get that out there to people, I may be able to save someone's life. I may be able to guide them down a different path than what they was going to go down. Yeah. And that is my main thing, just to help as many people as possible. And with that, sharing, sharing my story, sharing the things which I've been through, to encourage people to be more positive rather than being negative within the, the bad things which are happening in their life. Love it. Love the yeah. Well. Thank you, brother man. Thank you so much. Yeah, because I just, I just want to get like, I'm just hearing a tone, hearing a tone, and you can feel heart in, in the tone and the tonality. So it doesn't matter what people say, it's the tone of where they come from. I felt, I felt you gracious. So guys, 10 seconds now, because there's 20, 20, 20, 21 of us. I was like, at first I was like, this is a good idea. We could just, like 10 seconds, but even add those 10 seconds up and it was like 10 to 10. Okay, so, so guys, um, Rania, okay, 10 seconds, Rania, really fast, okay? Okay. Uh, I, my why is that I want to reach as many people as possible to make a difference in their, their lives and then in turn they can help others. Fantastic. That was, that was nice and short. Thank you so much for that, Rania. Yeah. I felt it. Feel good? Okay. Feel good? Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> good. Amazing. Sands, ready? 10 seconds. Fast as we can. Again. Let's go. That's my Scottish accent. Right. Here I am. I initially did my 21 days of facing my fears on Facebook Live and I smashed it. I've then done my self-love challenge course for 21 days and I have found my passion Fantastic. and I want to give it to others. I love it. Thank you yeah. so much for that. Nice and short. Sure. Cassie, Cassandra, three, two, one, let's go. I want to help other people, especially single mums, because I know how hard that is. I've been a single mum since day dot, so my daughter's nearly 13 now and there's just not enough help out there. Also, um, we're suffering with body dysmorphia. Mm -hmm. I feel like I can help people that suffer in silence with that. And awesome. um, that's what I want to do, and that's my, a big why. Amazing, 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 amazing. Thank you so much for sharing that about you. I'm looking for those feelings. Carrie Ann. Hi, um, my um, goal is to help at least 100,000 men and women over the next five years um, by empowering them to do a seminar on emotional trauma. So I, I, my goal is to hopefully do this by next summer in London. So I just want to get a load of people together and go and smash it and help change lives. Love it. Thank you so much for that, Carrie Ann. This is it. We're smashing it now, guys. My, my, bad, my, my good idea, let's start with a good idea. It's actually become really... Anyway, it went bad, then it went good again. Tasha, ready? Three, two, one, let's go. Uh, so I, I help a lot of friends, but I need to learn how to balance it out because sometimes they kind of take advantage, as you said. Yes, 100% they take advantage. <laughs> so they can oh stay like God. three hours on the phone with me and yeah. I'm trying to console them and change their mindset. And I had quite a negative mindset and now I've become much more positive so I need to learn how to coach my friends and then the wider family and audience That's it. but do it in a way where I have enough time for everyone fantastic love that love it Tasha like what we want guys what we want to get in the habit of is stop giving them fish and teaching them how to fish send them a manual over the phone boom 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 YouTube Google know-how videos okay so who was that next leanne three two one let's go hi so i'm gonna help i'm gonna reach 10 million people in the next five years yeah i don't know how 
just Facebook, you know, craziness. But I've always felt really compelled to help people, like since as young as I can remember. So I just feel like this is where I'm at. This is what I'm meant to do. Fantastic. Thank you for sharing, Leanne. Donna, three, two, one, let's go. Okay, so having been through depression, anxiety, sexual abuse, drug addiction, eating disorders, I am going to help people learn to love the skin they're in so they can love the life they live and then live the life that they love. Love it. Nice, short, sweet, good. You've got loads of branches to help people. Yeah. Love it, Donna. You've been on a powerful journey this last 21 days as well, which I love. Is that you've been vulnerable, which has allowed you to really grow even more. Okay, so next person, who do we have? Who do we have? Who do we have? Who do we have? Let me find you. Oh, it's Claire. Can you hear me? <laughs> Last Claire's like hashtag saying. <laughs> I have been through some shite in this life, but you know what? I've been put on that journey for a reason, and I'm not going through all that shite not to then use them experiences to help other people. I'm going to go out there and I'm going to not let anything stand in my way. I was put on this earth for a purpose, and that's me. Next person, Johnny, Johnny, I want you to wrap this up for 10 seconds to wrap it. You want me to wrap it? Yeah, let's go. Okay, I wouldn't say I've been through a lot of negativity, but at the end of the day, I want people to get better with me, B. The reason being, I need to uplift people. And the reason for that is that we're all equal. I can't really think of anything else to say, but at the end of the day, I'm just here to play. I want to help people get them from A to B. That's what I'm saying to me and what I'm saying to these people in here. And at the end, <laughs> put me on the spot, man. Why did you do that? that, that yeah. that's, that's the whole point of the game. <laughs> um, I wouldn't say that I've had like um, a real like hard upbringing. I, when I was with my ex missus, like we went through some some crazy stuff, like real Johnny. Real Johnny. Bad. Johnny. Johnny. You have had it hard because you're creative. You're born to be a rapper, inspire people, and you're working at RAC. That's a hard life, okay? I'm telling you that now because you're so creative. Like, you just need to get out there and do your thing. But there's that, yeah, that's, that's your story. Being so creative, but being conformed, like being confined to that job. Yeah. Man, that's, that's tough. So yeah, that is your story. That's powerful. I'm, I'm going to buy your mixtape when it comes out, man. I'm just waiting for it. <laughs> it's going to be signed. Why do you want to help people, Joey? Because I want to help them because I've got something that I can give to them. If I can make them feel better with something I say or with something that I can relate to their struggle, yeah. I will do that because that's got to be my purpose. That's got to be my purpose in life. If, if, I, can, if I can uplift someone, mm -hmm. I've got an ability. And if I've got an ability and, and I can make someone feel better with that, that's it. Why not? I've got to do it. Love it. Game face. Thank you so much, Johnny. Wrap that. Okay, Lynette, I want you to wrap yours. I'm joking, Lynette. 10 seconds, Lynette, okay? Three, two, one. Let's go, sister. Hello, hi everybody. Can you hear me? Yes, we can. Um, <laughs> um, I think that I've got the unique skill to communicate a message that really needs to get out there um, to anyone really staying inside us and they really need to um, stop that you know, that's going on in their heads in terms of confusion and they just need to um, be themselves and come out of them. Yeah. yeah, I'm gonna communicate that message definitely. The message. Fantastic. Thank you so much for that. Okay, who's playing Scream? Oh, that's me. <laughs> who's me? 
I, I'm me. Hold on, hold on. I see. I see. <laughs> okay, Michelle. Michelle's chilling with her headphones in, ready. She's speaking to herself because it's on mute still. Two seconds, Michelle. Three, two, one. Let's go. Um, look. The reason why I want to help people, um, you know, people deserve to be happy in life. Mm. They deserve to have a life. Some people don't have a life and I want to help them to be able to enjoy um, what's out there, what, what they deserve. Um, I love people. I wow. love people. Right. I, want to, I want to work with people. Um, I've been working with certain people all my life. But when it comes to connecting with yourself, um, for me, it's, this is my purpose. This is my calling. Yeah. And I've been really, uh, meditating on it recently. I've been yeah, fasting. Michelle, 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 I, feel, I, feel, I, feel, I, feel, I feel I could go on, but anyway, that's it. Thank you so much, Michelle. I felt it. <laughs> as soon as I feel that love, that's it. I feel it. Okay. Christine. Three, two, one, let's go. 10 seconds, Christine. Hi, uh, sorry, I joined the, um, live late. I was trying to put my niece down. Um, yeah, so the reason why I'd like to be a leader... Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, quick. Oh, um, yeah, sorry. Um, the reason why I'd like to be a leader, because I love working with people and I've mm -hmm. transformed my life massively, so I'd like to help other people transform their life. Fantastic, I love that. And guys, as well, do you know what, what I'm looking for in these coaching roles, right? I don't always look for like the best coaches. I look for people that have the right intentions. If you have the right intentions in your heart, you put someone, you give someone responsibility, they grow into that role. And that's what I love is people get an opportunity to grow into that role. I'm just looking for heart. If you love something, you're going to get good at something. Just want to put that out there as well. Okay, so. Anna. 10 seconds, Anna. Okay, this time do it in Italian. I'm joking. Uh, hi, hi guys. I'm so excited to be here. So, um, what my why is um, before I started this 21 a self love program, I never felt worthy. I never felt uh, worthy of love. Um, you know, I went through um, sexual abuse and bullying and this kind of stuff. And on this 21 self love program, I had so many breakthroughs and. I feel so free and I feel like I own people to help them feel the same way. I want people to have the same breakthrough like I had, yeah. if you know what I mean. I just feel like this is what I want to do. I love it. Thank you. I felt you. Anna. Where are you originally from again, Anna? I'm from Poland. Oh, Cześć. Cześć. Test. <laughs> <laughs> Polish is a hard language. Okay, so um, actually, how do you say I'm feeling really motivated in Polish? Czuję się zmotywowana. Ah, motivana. Wicked. Thank you so much, Anna. Okay, so who's next? Who's next? Who's next? Who's next? So many people on. So many. Vicky, make peace. Wrap this one too, okay? 10 seconds, Vicky. Three, two, one, let's go. Oh, yeah. you got me? Hear me? Hey, you. Yeah, I'm Vicky. I'm from the north. I suffer chronic pain and I want to help others. I want to reach my dreams. Even though I've got chronic pain, I can get there. So can you. Love that. <laughs> and what, why do you want to help other people? Why do you love other people? Yeah. I know, I love people, you know, it's, I love talking to people, I can relate to a lot of people, you know, it's like being through chronic pain myself, you know, mm. I live with it every day for the last 16 years, and I can see people where I, I've been in that situation, you know, when you've been right at rock bottom, you know, suicidal, yeah. very depressed, anxiety, you know, the guilt, the shame, it all rolls in. And be, you know, some people, you know, treat you like you're a second citizen or even worse, you know, they treat, treat you like you're not there as well. And it's like, it's no, I don't need, you know, you don't need pity, shame or being ignored. You just want to be treated like everybody else. And... And people will, you know, try and knock you down to nothing. And it's like, no, 
you know, it's like I'm thinking out of the box and I can do it. I might not do it faster than everybody else, but I can do it. 100% you can. <laughs> That's it. Thank you, Vicky. <laughs> <laughs> Louise McClay, is you late? Two seconds. Hello? Can you hear me? No. Hello? Oh. Hello? I don't. Hello? <laughs> okay, Warren. Um, yeah, I doing the program. It's completely turned my thinking around, and I'd really like to help other people who've been through the same experiences, either as myself or different ones, and turn their shit into basically a positive, Amazing. so that they can um, go on the same path, uh, on their own path, and make it into a positive and turn their journey to something amazing. Beautiful, love that. Did, did you script that? Did you write that down before? You no, know? I didn't. <laughs> Thank you, Louise. Is that everyone? Have we got everyone? everyone? Oh no, we haven't. Sarah, Sarah. Three, two, one. Let's go. Hi, yeah. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah. I can hear. You. <laughs> okay. Um, I done my tree, my U two tree, um, and I came out with a lot of branches. Um, so basically, um. There's a lot of areas that I can, I feel I can help people with. Um, that includes illnesses, abuse, um, ADHD, dif different things. Mm -hmm. um, and basically, the way I look at it is I want to help. So I'm going to have to pick an area to concentrate on. But I feel I've got a lot to give. Amazing. Love it, Sarah. Class is short and good. Thank you. Little big tree. Branches to help you. Mm -hmm. Amazing. Okay, so is that everyone? I think that is everyone now. If I've missed you guys, I can't see you. I'm joking. So oh, Christine, Christine, three, two, one, let's go. Actually, no, Christine, I think you're on. Hey, anyway, Christine, don't worry. You just hid your face and just said your name, so I thought it was another Christine. Okay, so that's everyone. Okay, so guys, I felt you guys. I heard your stories, heard your whys. The, the feeling, guys, the whole process is, is love, okay? We're going to have on this program as well, when you go through this program, we don't fall in love, we are love. If you heard, have you heard um, me say that before? I got it actually from Anna Garcia, which, which is powerful. We don't, we don't fall in love with people, we are love. So when we remove all the toxic crap from ourselves and we become love, we see the love in other people. You can look at the bad in people and you can look at the good in people. Whatever you focus on, you feel. That's the emotions that you feel towards those people. Put your hands up, guys. Does that make sense? You're going to get people that don't understand you and you're not going to understand them. But our job as coaches and leaders is to understand their language. So I don't argue no more, right? I remember growing up, maybe being like 18, 19, and like, this was in like an AOL days, we'd be on an AOL chat room and then someone would say, like, nigger. And I'd be like, what did you just say? I'm going to let it just literally, I was like, ah! I went angry and retaliated and just overreacted. But now, like someone could call me that and empathy comes. And there's no anger or hatred towards them. It kills the whole poison. I don't accept the poison anymore. So as coaches, guys, we need to be able to learn how to defuse other people's bombs that they throw at you. Does that make sense, guys? and the ability to understand people. For example, if you've got maybe a family member, right? Family members always are notoriously known for this, where they'll, you'll argue, maybe with your partner, and they'll say something nasty to you, but they don't mean it, they say it to hurt you, because they want a reaction from you. And for us to have the self-awareness to say, hang on, if they're saying that about me, or they're saying that to me, I'm not gonna play tennis with them, I'm gonna understand that they're hurting right now, so I'm not gonna react with it. So I want to teach you guys about this as well, the emotional intelligence where you stop comparing yourself with other people. You don't have no bitterness inside of you, no anger inside of you. You forgive people in the past. You forgive people. Just checking the chat box, guys. Someone just put a message. Sounds amazing. Okay, wicked. Yeah, guys, use the chat box as well if you want to chat to me. I can see your messages. Christine, I was like that. I'm next to sleep. Wait, I was like that. Oh, okay, cool. cool. Wicked. So, um... You're going to learn a lot, guys, about emotional intelligence, people skills on this course, on literally how to work with people. Because some people are going to be in some places where they're hurting so much that they can't give out 
anything but anger and hate. And for, for us not to take it personal. Like when I first became a coach, like sometimes people will say things and you're like, ah, like it would hurt you because you helped that person and you take it personal. But people hurt people hurt people. Does that make sense, guys? Hurt people hurt people. If anyone's ever being nasty to you, right? It's because they're hurting inside or because you've got, got, just got the wrong end of the stick. Yeah, you put in a chat box, guys. Does that make sense? So it's, it's teaching us, guys, so that we become water and not those fizzy drinks where, oh my God, I'm angry now. Or if you love someone and they don't love you back, for you not to get hurt by that. Because you have that emotional intelligence to understand that you have a blessing, you have a self-awareness to be able to love those people without needing it back. And that's a, that's a gift. That's what I want to teach you guys as well about emotional intelligence, so, but the people skills. If you've got a pen and paper, write this down as well. So I want to teach you guys the communication skills. So you're going to get practice doing events, right? So where I can be on and I can just observe how you start it, finish it, how you deal with your mistakes in the process of these, doing these trainings as well. Seeing how you pick up, you'll pick yourself back up again, seeing how you control everyone. Just, I'll be observing and then from observing you, Jodie, what time do you call this? Don't worry, Jodie. Just keep listening. It's recorded as well. Okay, so um, a lot of strangers have popped up. Okay, so um, what was I going to say? Da -da 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 -da. I've lost one of my track. Yeah, okay, so communication skills. How to communicate effectively on camera and also at events as well. I was chatting to Wendy um, yesterday as well regarding the events, and I thought it would be an amazing opportunity is that I'm going to be creating a video series. So for example, just say for example, you want to do an event in Bournemouth, or you want to do an event in wherever you are from in the, in, in the world. I can have, I can make an intro video. So like, I'm not there in person, but I'm there on a screen and you as the facilitator, as the coach on the day can go through the process so we can get the same results, just like a McDonald's that is everywhere around the world. We can actually, and like they can still, I can, I can kind of be there, but on a video, and then you guys will actually, guys, okay, you'll be up front. Okay, I want you guys to do this. Right team, you you got to think of your team name. Left team, you're going to think of your team name. What do you think of that idea, guys? Put your name, put your comments down below. So it's not a live stream, it will be recorded. So each step, so we'll go through the, so, so the step is the introduction. So I'll be like, guys, if you're in this room right now, I want you to know that you're an amazing coach who's going to be able to give you Okay, the space for this transformation. I want everyone to be present here today, guys. Put your phones on silence, get your derricks up, right? And just focus on what you've come to get today. What do you want? Okay, yeah, so, oh, cool, cool. Yes, awesome, awesome, awesome. Sounds fantastic. Wicked. So, and, and I think this here, you guys can get, um, where when you, when you know the process of how these events go, I can make you confident in the day events, then you can then like, play more like I want to put this input into it, I want to put that input into it. The thing that we want is the A to B. They come in not confident, they leave confident. That's what we do, A to B. So part of this coaching course as well, guys, it's not, it's like, I'm just, I've got a vehicle, I've got a ship that works. So I can coach you guys on being a coach and, if I've got an umbrella so that we can grow and obviously you can be under that umbrella where we go around the world and we do all these coaching things, but also at the same time, you're like, okay, I'll do, like you're on a boat for, you're on a boat for so long and you're like, you know what? I'm ready to create my thing. But this boat, the boat is there to give you the experience and you have an opportunity to swim in the deep end, to feel the water, to feel the depth, to give you the confidence, to give you the experience. What do you guys think of that? Comment below, comment below, comment below. In your own time, guys. <laughs> Wicked. I'm ready. Love it. Love it. Love it. Amazing. Great. Have you got the time to coach us 100%? Have you got the time to coach us 100%? It sounds good. Craig, are you asking, have I got the time to coach you 100%? Here with Greg, say that question again so I can... Yeah, so guys, where my destination is, right, 
as a human being, I've got a certain destination and that destination is for me and you're going to have a destination, but we're going to go across the Atlantic and just say we're going to the promised land. I've the, the ship, I've been working on the ship for the last six years. So the ship's there, it works. It has good morals, good values. You get on the ship and then I can teach you the trade and then we can reach a lot of the masses and, and build this ship bigger. But then obviously at the same time, you don't want to go exactly where I want to go in life. You don't want to be a carbon copy of who I am. You want to be you and put your swagger, your touch, your mix, your, your spice on what you want to do. And, but it's, the idea is, is, is getting on that ship until you feel 100%, 100% comfortable in that, look, I can, I can do it. I can make this happen now. Greg said, with so much going on, have you got time to coach us? So on the four week coaching program, you are, I will go through the whole coaching program by the end of that program. It'll be group coaching, not one-to-one. -one. Group coaching, not like one-to-one program. I'm going to set up everything, the tasks, everything that you're going to do to then become that coach. But then again, you're going to be learning along the conference program. And it's all about experience, experience, experience. Christine, yes, it's the 20th of October. So... That is the coaching package. Guys. On this coaching package, you're going to be involved with the Unshakable Confidence Program and the events that we've got. So this is growing, 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 growing. This is all about connection. There is no competition. There is no gossip. There is no hatred, no anger that towards other, each other. It's just pure love. It's red love, right? All it is is love, love, love. We don't care who helps the person unless the person gets help. Is everyone good with that, guys? Just putting this down there, guys, okay? It's no, right? And we just communicate effectively with each other. If anything, you need to speak to someone, go to that person, speak to that person, resolve that issue. Because nine times out of 10, nine, nine, nine times out of 10, there's just a misunderstanding. It's just you guys are looking at the different windows. And that's it. So we want to create a, a community of leaders and coaches where everyone gets on. No awkwardness. Is everyone good with that, guys? Like in, the, in this tribe of coaches, it's just love. There's no bitchiness. There's no anything else. There's just love and support helping one another. And if you haven't connected with some of the other people, you go out of your way to say hello and connect with them and understand how they work and they understand how you work. And then we just get one happy boat where there's no one arguing, it's just love. A love boat, let's call it a love boat. So I, again, guys, I see Tony Robbins. I see Tony Robbins out there. This is the godfather of the coaching world, but I also see past him. And what I wanna create is I'm going to create a platform where I don't need to be the Batman. I don't need to be, oh, it's me. I don't need that, I'm doing this for God. So for me, I'm a vessel in the whole process. I've been grounded from day one. So when people say to me, oh, well, you've helped me, you've saved my life, it doesn't go to my head. I know I'm gonna die, and I'll be six foot under one day. I'm, I'm aware of this, so I don't need validation. We need to be at that place as well, guys. We just like, look, this is what I'm born to do. So I'm, I'm only doing this because I love people because the coaching world, guys, is hard. I'm not going to lie to you. It is hard. It gets lonely. People always just expect you to have the answers. And we have to be able to have the strength and the courage to be able to deal with that and understand that leadership can be a lonely path sometimes because you've got to go first. Is everyone down for that? Yeah, is it like it can look glamorous, guys, on the outside when you see like, oh my god, look, look how many people are watching this video, du -du 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 -du. <laughs> right? But it's tough, one hundred. It's, it's tough, but it's but when you've got a massive why, you don't feel it. It's like ah, oh, it comes with the territory. So things can happen to you in your life, guys. But we have the community, we have the skills, the mental skills to deal with the things that we're facing in our life. And when you have those days, right? For example, like. Like we have to learn not to go and have these bad days. When things play up, we have to physically move ourselves outside of that environment and change things up. But all I know is this, if you can get like in this platform as well, guys, when we do the Unshakable Conference program, that program will be now 97 pounds because I know that the 21 pounds guys, people drop, the drop off rate is quite high. So when we have 97 pounds, they're gonna be like, okay, 
I'm going to get my penny back. I'm going to get every penny back from this program. And, I'm going to put, and we're, going to get, we're going to attract people who really need this. Does it make sense, guys? Comment below if it makes sense. Yes, yes, yes. Fantastic. So I want the next program, guys, where it's not like, you know, we can only help those people that want to be helped, right? We can only help, we can only bring the donkey to the water. We can't make the donkey drink the water. But what I found out, though, guys, we can make that water taste nice and smell nice. And they're like, and they just want to drink the water. We can, we can add spice to that water. Okay, so um, through the coaching course, guys, I'm going to teach you about the values, the morals of literally being in a place where you can stay grounded, but growing confidence. In the past, what I've learned, guys, when people get confident, it can sometimes like, okay, I'm confident, and then they become super confident, and then they become competitive, and then they try to fly before they can run, and then it comes crashing down. It's a journey, guys. We're still learning. I'm still learning as well. And we're never comparing ourselves. And we're always learning, 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 learning. And it's 22, 22, which is a very special time right now. We are in sync. Yep. Okay, so um, that's, the co that, that's the coaching course. The coaching course is 297. In that four-week program, guys, we're all in. So I'm going to be getting you guys doing Facebook Lives, okay? So we need to get you comfortable doing these Facebook Lives teaching okay topics on these facebook lives as well not just hi guys am i live right now hello no you're teaching whatever topic you want to teach something you're passionate about of helping people you break it down for example if i went to the shop and someone says to me how do i get to the shop do i just say okay you just need to get out of the house and then just keep going and you'll hit the shop or how do i break it down step one do this then you turn left and you turn right this is this you break it down Anything that you think is valuable that you've over that you've overcome in your confidence, self-love, anything in life, we chop it up, write it down. Step one, step two, step three. That is your topic. And you break that topic down. And then someone who hasn't been there yet, that's gonna be priceless to them. This is it. We just break down. How did you get from where you were to where you are right now? What steps did you take? And you write those steps down and this is how you help other people as well on the coaching program guys it's 97 pounds you guys are going to be getting i think i haven't worked out yet i think you get you get 20 pounds per each person that you get on board with the program so what i'm going to do as well is when i advertise this program we turn facebook live and we do webinars we're going to have a lot of a list of people saying i want to get on board with the program I'm going to put a list of people that need that, that just say would need a call. So you guys can do a five minute call, right? Five minute call with that person. Tell them what it's about. Bum, 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 bum. Are you ready? You have to be all in 100%. Are you ready? Are you, are you going to give up? No. Perfect. Okay. Congratulations. You're in. This is the investment. Boom. And they're on board. Are you guys happy with this as well? Phone calls, guys. Five minute calls. Michelle said, okay, send them my way. Yes, we can sort out a payment plan as well, guys. Yes, send them away. Yes, yes, yes. Fantastic. And also as well, everyone on this call right now is like, when you want to be a coach, don't just aim to be a coach. How many of you guys want to be like a badass coach? Like you want to be the Oprah Winfrey's, you know, like the Tony Robbins. This is what I'm aiming. I mean, I look at these people, I'm thinking, it's, it's our time right now. You know, they've been hogging it for a long time now. It's our time to raise the bar to another level. Okay, wicked, yes, 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 100%. Be that known coach, right? And it's all it is, guys, is repetition. We keep doing it, showing up. But the only reason we want to be that best coach is that because when you are the best coach, it gives you a platform to help the most people. And it's all about helping people before you die. Just to remind you guys, it's the lives you touch. So that is the course. And also the promotion side of it as well, guys. So like literally, we want to grow this course. So we've got like, 500 people on it a thousand people on this course and then i'm like okay we break it down and you guys have got like you're managing 50 people on that course boom 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 and then you'll have the coaching skills to break those 50 people up and to create team leaders just like with leanne and with greg and claire and michelle and wendy when they when they were leaders then 
I didn't teach them on how to become leaders. I didn't teach them, but the responsibility of being a leader, they stepped up to a whole new level, which they didn't step up to, I don't know, which they, which they wasn't at before in the last program, because was, they was doing it for themselves at the start. But when they did it become a leader, they went to a whole new height. Leaders that just done, the, and Johnny as well, the leaders that just done the last event, do you feel like you upped your game on the self-love program as a leader, with just having the responsibility as a leader? Michelle said big time, Leanne said 100%. Yes, defo. And then the better the coach we become, guys, the better we can manage our time so that we don't feel overwhelmed and we're not pulled to pillar to post from people. Trust me, when you've got, a, when you've worked on a gift and you want to help other people, there are some people that just want help and they will, they will take, take and take until <laughs> there's nothing more to take, right? You will attract, if you're a giver, sometimes you will attract people that just take. So we have to understand how to manage our time, set our boundaries straight. And therefore we're not there. Like if you spend all your time just giving people fish, there are people that, that are starving and you need to have those people as well. So you need to teach people how to fish. Make sense guys? Boundaries must be 100%, guys, 100% boundaries must be set, pet, um, set because I went through that whole process at the start of my coaching career, guys, and I wouldn't wish it on anybody. Being thrown in that role made me have some, such a belief in myself that I learned how much I love others. Yes, guys, this is it. What sets you free from any suffering is the connection and the love that you have for other people. Fact. And then we're going to grow as a family, guys. As this grows, like, I've got plans. I've done retreats before as well. So to be able to have retreats, like, from the I Can Make You Confident um, event, from that, the next stage from that, I want to create, like, three-day retreats in Greece, in, like, the countries surrounded by us that have a bit of heat, hot. And then we can have masterclasses and retreats over there in these different countries. And... I think one day, like a one day event, if you guys have been to the event, you know the power of the event, but just imagine three days, right? Where we're waking up in the morning, we're doing the morning routine together, we're exercising together, we're going to the affirmations together, but we're doing all of that together. And then the breakthroughs, like, like sometimes people hold on and they've still got stuff that they need to let go of. Three days gives enough time for them to really sort of go bam, break and have that breakthrough. Like the three, when I went to Bali guys, and SJ, Carol, um, Caroline, who else do we have? Lisa, um, Shifa, Susie. Um, their breakthroughs were massive because they had the whole week. They had a week. The week is just powerful and they, they grow as like, like family. So it's incredible. So what the, the process, guys, is we take them through the program, the unshakable program. We give them an absolutely incredible experience. We get them from A to B, we are 100% committed in this as well. Then at the end of it, they're like, oh my gosh, like I wanna teach you guys as well the art of connection so that people on your team feel like, oh my God, I feel like I know you. I feel like I know you, I feel like I know you. So we're gonna create exercises in your team where people are sharing and bonding. And once we have that connection there, when we have the I can make you confidence in a day event, your team goes to that event. And maybe you can think outside the box. I know Greg does the t-shirts. You guys can have your t-shirts for your teams as well. And I can see it now. One big event and a different, different group, different t-shirts. And you happen to see it. So that is the process, guys. So we, the coach, and I coach you guys, right, on how to promote yourself. Like with promotions, like with the promotion side of it as well. How to show up on social media. How to start building your brand as a coach. So people know who you are before they get into your team. That side of things, communication skills. And then um, we do the Unshakable Conference program. Amazing experience. Through the coaching program as well, guys, I'm going to be giving you tasks where you guys will be running sessions, mini sessions, before we, before we launch the Unshakable Conference program. Tasha, I'm like, Tasha, we'll be coaching Greg, Tyrone, Tanya, and Vicky on a course, right? On, on a, um, a self-love training. So you prep that training. So you prep it, you've got a coaching plan, step one, step two, step three. You know how to have a good intro. So hi guys, hi Vicky, put your hands up Vicky if you're excited. Yes! Johnny, put your hands up, like go, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. 
Yeah, they love to say that in the house. Johnny's in the house. Like, right, Greg, show me your Zim Zimma. Who got the keys to my bimma? Who am I? Yes, you see that? See that? Great. That this is it. It's our Jamaican flex. Yes. But guys, having those rapport skills, okay, guys, so that we can make it. I call it, write this down, guys. When we coach people, we edutain. Edutain is not just educate them because that's boring, right? I had ADHD, so called ADHD, but I don't think it was ADHD. I just think my teacher just couldn't handle me because they wasn't stimulating my mind. But what I'm saying, though, guys, is that we need to learn how to edutain. Edutain is amazing. We entertain it. We bring in the fun, but also the important teaching points. Write that down, guys, below. Does that make sense, guys? Does it make sense? Does it make sense? Does it make sense? Wait. Someone just said, Warren, please go to Grenada again. My mum is Grenadian. Michelle, I'm absolutely in love with Grenada. And right, the reason why I love Grenada is there's only 100,000 people on that island. We can actually make a shift on that island. When we went to the schools, went to the banks in Grenada, we went to the universities in Grenada, everyone knows everyone. They're like, you know, you know Simon, the taxi man? Oh, I know Simon. You know, you know Paul? The who owns the villa? Oh, I know Paul. But yeah, like we could literally just change that whole island. We can make it the whole self-development hub. Like only 100,000 people. Yeah, look, Michelle, we can go back there. Right, I'll speak to you about that. We can create something there. I don't know speaking to all there, guys. It's absolutely amazing. They call it the small island. It's a small, loving island. You get out of the car, ask for directions, and they give you a cup of tea. Okay. <laughs> Tasha, same as Malta. That's this is what I'm saying. Like these places, guys, that have like small populations. In the UK, it's 700 people, right? 700 people is the tipping point to make a change, a shift in the UK's like way of thinking. 700 people can influence. My mom knows everyone exactly. I know everyone on that island right now. It's like Warren Inspire Ryan's coming, guys. Get out, get out your, your food. Get out the Akia saltfish. Warren's coming. <laughs> Warren's coming. I kid, I, guys, I kid you not, right? I went to one school over there. Because you know how energy I've got, right? I mean, they were positive. They looked at me as if they wanted to kill me. I'm not even gonna lie, I went and there's this. And I was like, oh, these guys are gonna be tough. But then I, I was tickling them in all sorts. I'm like, oh, it tickling me far. But no, it was funny. It was good, though. It was a good crack. At the end, they're like, oh, can you adopt me? <laughs> I was like, I'm going to come back. I'm going to create schools over here. But yeah, no. Um, yeah, okay. You just took me off track, man. If I see a balloon, I'm going to go for a balloon, guys. Okay, back in the house. Back in the house. <laughs> I love it. So, guys, the whole process of this journey, guys, is we love what we do. If it ever feels like work, this is not for you. I love what I do. When I do events, when I do retreats, when I'm doing this coaching, I love it. Absolutely love it. If money didn't exist, I'd still be doing this. Fact. So you have to be, I'm going to ask you a question, guys. Like, do you see this as a work or do you see this as something that I absolutely would love to do and it's not like work and I can just do it? So Rania, everyone who's text, um, put in the chat box, guys, comment below so I know. Some of you guys are miming it for the, for the screen. I can't really, can't really, can't read your lips. Okay, would love to do it. Pure love. It's a passion. It's fun. I could do this twenty four seven. No, it's not work. Fantastic. Would love to do it. It's not work. It's not work. It's, it's my lifestyle, one hundred percent. And guys, people could be difficult. People are people are, are crazy, funny creatures. You know, sometimes like. It's crazy. People are crazy. We have, to have, we have to be able to deal with this, right? We have different personality types. I wind people up just by my energy. Some people are like, you're a bit too much, and that's okay. That's them. You know, so people are... <laughs> we're always knowing people. Sometimes people can hate you for the, the most bizarre reasons ever. But the most important thing, guys, for us is that we don't take it personal. And we allow people the freedom of expression right they express but i love people if people don't like me i love them i love them i love them i love them they don't like me they don't know me okay that's it so guys we have to really understand that as well people are gonna rub you up the wrong way sometimes they're gonna say things they're gonna do things but forgiveness 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 
some people are like octopuses and stick to it when you are there to help like some people are like octopus and stick to you when you are there 100 percent it's like it's like if you're if someone's drowning in the water and you go to rescue them your intention is to help them they're going to pull your head under to keep themselves up fact because because when they're in that place that dark place that, that it's survival the mind remember guys the role of the mind is to keep you alive if someone's giving you a lifeline uh, giving you a rope right you're going to do whatever you whatever it takes to <gasps> get some air so we have to understand that as well guys my calling second nature some people are like octopus i've read that like twice so guys that is it the next question guys okay so if you need a payment plan guys we're gonna have it up we can have two payment plans three payment plans okay I might push to four payment plans but right but this is an investment guys in yourself okay on this coaching process and this is the whole just if we st stick with me on this mission guys i promise you i look you i my i look you guys in the eyes okay we're gonna change the world we're gonna literally gonna be massive we're gonna be viral okay don't jump ship too soon just see the mission see where we're going right let's until we're gonna share on the stage with tony robbins i'm like tony man we're on the same stage man right last year i did an event of a thousand people i did that by myself and i had a team for people as well but like just saying like if we got you guys on board as coaches as well and we're all pushing it right because it's not i'm not even joking guys it's painful doing events promoting events it's not i'm not gonna lie it's painful i had to call people call people call people i'm coming to your event Ron. i'm coming and then the day of the event oh sorry when i can't come to your event all right we're, we're gonna get this we're gonna get it, we're gonna get it. But when we've got a team of us pushing, 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 we're gonna break through. So, Michelle, I ain't going away. We're gonna smash this guy. So guys, if you're in, say yes. And, and as well, guys, if you're saying, I'm not ready yet, this is not for me, I'm completely fine. I just wanna share this training tonight to see how many people are in with this and then we build on it. And also as well, guys, if you're like, if you're safe, like, just, just, just say, if you're like, oh, do you know what? I'm not ready, I'm not in. Don't just go distance yourself and be like, okay, I'm not gonna speak to them again. You're part of our family still. It's still a family. It's just people that are ready to set, step up. Jody, uncertain if it's for me, but it sounds amazing. Thank you for being honest, Jody. Jody, show me your crazy face. Yeah, there you go. It's for you. <laughs> yes, okay, so. One, two, three, four, five. Michelle, Kane, I'm not ready. Fantastic. Thank you for sharing that, Michelle. Five, six, seven. Oh, Michelle, I'm gonna, I'm, Michelle, I'm gonna hunt you down. I was like, I was thinking like, Michelle, not ready. What are you on about, Michelle? Michelle, like, grenade, 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 grenade. If I said I was gonna do a course on the moon, Michelle was like on the rocket already. She's got her space boots on already. Okay, wicked. Okay, so Joe, um, Claire, why is your why why is your email got Joe? At I'm like, who's Joe? <laughs> Claire, Claire, can you hear me? Because your your face expressions are not not coming out. I'm like speaking about Claire. She's like, <laughs> can you hear me? Okay, wicked. Yes, I'm in. Sarah, I'm still thinking. Fantastic. Sarah, where's Sarah? There you are, Sarah. Smile, Sarah. Yay, I see you. We can still think in Tyrone, yes. Tyrone, where's Tyrone? Tyrone, show me your crazy face. <sighs> Come on, Tyrone, you're doing this. Okay, Tanya, nervous about my trust issues will hinder my ability to be a good coach. That's that little voice in your head that's saying to you, don't do it, Tanya, play. No, Tanya, you can't do it, Tanya. But if that voice speaks English, okay, that means that's not your voice that was taught to you. But Tanya, go over your heart, okay? You know if you're ready or not, right? If, if you like. Okay, Christine, you wanna sneeze live on camera? Okay, told it to shut up, Tanya, love it. Lynette, I believe it's for me, would you like to work out a payment plan? Wicked, I think I need to, I think I need to do the Integral Conference Program first. Fresh is exciting real, who is that? Who's fresh, it, wave your hand, guys. Who's fresh? Ex Whose email address is fresh, exciting, real? Ronnie, is it you? 
No, <laughs> that's not me. Who is it, guys? Okay, Sans. Okay, crazy girl, Sans. <laughs> yeah, so that's fine. Wicked, Jody, wicked, wicked, wicked. I do. I do. I'm from my bathroom. Tanya, stay away from the bathroom. <laughs> okay, wicked. Everyone's commented. So, guys, that is the course. Okay, the course is going to start on the 20th. We're going to have a coaching session each week, which you're going to have tasks to do. I'm going to explain this, guys, in an email, in a training video, and then we'll have a coaching intro video of everything that we're going to be doing on that coaching course. We have to do the shit that's on it. We're going to do the Facebook Lives. You're going to be comfortable doing the Facebook Lives. You're going to grow your brands. Like, literally, I want the, I want, literally, I want it like a team. If I look at Tony Robbins, I look at Gary Vee, and I look at Les Brown. I'm like, why don't you guys come together and, like, do events together? And I don't understand it. Why do you need to be the Batman? Why do you need to be the Batman? I don't believe in that. I believe in one big, massive platform where we've all got massive brands, but we collaborate, and we do massive projects, and we change the world. Who's in? Who's in? Who's in? Claire, why? Did Claire just say piss off to who? Claire said, Claire, what are you doing? Oh, to that voice, I think. Claire's on her voice, not me. I was about to go then. Okay, wicked, 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 wicked. So, are you laughing? That's it, guys. It's Billy Quartz 11. Well, we're hustlers. This is all we do. This is, this is life, right? We live the life that we love. Monday, tomorrow, guys. It's Monday gold, not Monday blues, Monday gold, because we're going to find some treasure tomorrow. <laughs> I'm crazy. I love it. Okay, so guys, love you all. You're amazing people. Monday fun day. Yes, you know that. Me and my cats are going to be like, I'm like, I'm like the mad cat man. The mad cat man. The cats were running on his head on camera. Okay, so your, some of your faces are looking at me like, I, I can see all your faces all the time. <laughs> some of your faces are like. <laughs> oh, I love it. Okay, so um, yeah, let's wrap this up. 20th is it, it's going to start, guys, okay? So I'll let you know with the payment plan. And if you can pay it all up front, that's better than the payment plan for me. So just let me know and I will send you guys an email. So I'll put... Actually, if, if, I, um, if you inbox me your email addresses, guys, everyone, everyone who said yes, in, inbox me your email address, and we'll do this. But put a status on your Facebook after this, guys, and say, look, shit's just got real. No, don't put that, but just put like, oh my God, this is it, all in, in your coaching world. And I'll be like, look, man, when this first started out, guys, remember, remember that time when Tanya was on the toilet on this training session? And now we're in these offices around the world doing events in Dubai and Australia. And Johnny's rapping at Madison Square in New York. And we're like, I'm from Bristol. This is the place where dreams are made of. Gangster. Okay, guys, speak to you guys soon. Have a good night. See you later. Bye. Bye. <laughs>